The graph of a quadratic function is eventually a curve or a parabola. If you see this diagram, eventually all of the strokes of this diagram is made up of quadratic functions. So let us see what is the composition of a quadratic function. It's eventually just a polynomial with a degree of 2. It means that the power of the variables is going to be 2. And we are going to study about the coefficient of x squared, which is represented by a, the coefficient of x, which is b, and the constant of c. And we're going to make sure that a is not going to be 0, or else this function is going to be just a straight line, which is bx plus c. And what's so special about a is, when a is a positive, we have a curve that looks like a smiley face. Meanwhile, if we have a is less than 0, or we call it as a negative, we have a sad face. Let's find the value of a, b, and c. So for this one, when we have nothing in front of x squared, it's eventually 1. This is why we have a is equal to 1. b, which is coefficient of x, which is negative 6. And c is just a constant, which is 10. So this is why we have 1, negative 6, and 10. 5x squared minus 16x. If there's no constant, the constant is 0. So the coefficient for x squared is 5. The coefficient for x, which is negative 16. And c is just 0. How about now, when we have no x at all? If there's no x, we say that there is 0x. So this is why we have a is 1, b is 0, constant is which is just negative 4. If they give something like this, indirectly this is eventually a quadratic formula y, because this is eventually, after x expand, x squared minus 4x. If there's no constant, plus 0. So a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is 0. So if we see a fraction, we're going to times the highest power in the fractions with everybody. So 10 times x squared is 10x squared. Negative 1 over x times x squared. x and x cut off, you're left with negative x. And 5 over x squared times x squared, you have just left with 5. So this is why we say that a is 10, b is negative 1, and c is 5. Same thing here, when we have uh, fractions, we're going to times the with the highest power, this is why we have 1 minus 10x squared. If there's no x, x is 0. This is why we have a equal to negative 10, b is 0, c is 1. So let us see some of the example which is not quadratic expressions. The first one, they have the power of 3. x to the power of 3 is not a quadratic because quadratics have only degree of 2. So this is why this is a cubic function. The second example is when we see a fraction, we're going to times with everybody with the highest power of denominators. This is why we have 1 minus 2x cubed plus 5x squared. Where we have power of 3 is not a quadratic anymore. This is why we see this is a cubic function as well. The one last one, when x times x squared, again, we have x cubed. So basically, this is not a quadratic expression. Let's discuss more about the shape of the curve. As we mentioned before, when a is a positive, we have a curve that looks like a smiley face. When we have a is negative, we have a curve that looks like a sad face. But there's one more thing that I want to mention is, all of the curve is eventually symmetrical at one point. And the equation of a symmetrical line is represented by x is equal to negative b over 2a. It basically means that it's identical from the left part and the right part. Just like your handsome or pretty face. It's eventually symmetrical in the middle of your face. It wouldn't be one a is smaller and another ear is larger. Same thing, it wouldn't be one eye is smaller and one eye is going to be big, right? There's one more thing that you need to know is, when you have a smiley face, eventually you have a minimum point. Meanwhile, when you have a sad face, we eventually have a maximum point. That particular point is eventually the point where the symmetrical line is going to cut through. In order to find this minimum or maximum points, we're going to convert our quadratic equations 
to the form where it equals as the vertex forms, which H and K will tell us the minimum or maximum point. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more videos like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.